Fit what is one. up everybody welcome back a new day here in utah we hunted this morning justin is up for a buck uh something awesome happened for me and ryan yesterday but i think that video is coming later so stay tuned for that video but right now we are hunting for justin um he has a buck tag so they're in front of us and uh he's using a rifle so we're gonna come around here me and ryan when we first got here spotted a big buck couldn't tell what it was uh, the mirage was too bad for us to tell what he was but he had a big frame and a huge body so we're coming around see if we can get a find him again and get a better look at him but hopefully we get a big buck on the ground and uh get some meat in the freezer so stay tuned have fun and enjoy but it didn't take long we didn't spot the buck that we just got on but we have a group of like five bucks that are over here and a couple of them look real nice big in On to the next one. There are some really good bucks in there, but not what we're looking for. Big, ginormous two-point in velvet. But uh, we're looking for a big four-point. Hey guys, well, as you just saw on that scope cam footage, uh, we have a bunch of bucks spotted, but there's one in particular, a big 4x4, four four, hard horn 4x4. Four four. <laughs> anyway, we're going to make a move. We only have about 30 minutes left of light. There, how far? 1,300 yards away. We're going to get to 600, 600, 700 yards and uh, get a better look at them. And then Justin will decide from there. So, fingers crossed, make a good shot and uh, get this bad boy on the ground. got the 660 and it just got too dark on us so we did put them to bed we're gonna be here first thing in the morning and uh, they're eating in this south south flower field I've never even heard of that but apparently the deer love it so we're gonna be sitting here glassing first thing in the morning when the Sun comes up and uh, there's a big five point two that we never saw from up there but we saw it when we got down here so there's a big four point a big five point so if either one of those walks out in the morning he's going down so we're gonna go eat dinner get a good night's rest be up here before uh, the sun comes up hopefully one of them decides to walk out morning ghost today is the day that it happens we're hoping so we're leaving we're getting out of here
five point in it. Big fours looking right at you, but there's a pond behind it. Matt shoot him. <laughs> Got him. Good shot. He's going down. You sure? Yeah. Nope, shoot him again if you can. Dude! Oh my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> what the hell was that? Dude. Hey, 100 yards, it's our game. No, no doubt, that's so awesome. How did I just miss that? <laughs> oh my gosh. He just did a weird, right as I shot. I forget that. <laughs> that was nuts. Dude, that's a big deer. That's a good one. Dude, that was crazy. <laughs> That was a rodeo. <laughs> this is with his self-defense shooting lately. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey, Cam did his job. Heck yeah, he did. Oh, okay. It's cold. I bet he's going to be right here now. Dude. <laughs> that shot was wicked. <laughs> that was a wicked Oh shot. my gosh. Guys, we, we got on these deer when the sun, I'm shaking, dude. My legs are shaking. I'm cold too, but we got on these deer. They're right here where we're standing. And we were on them at 100 yards for 20 minutes and a magpie, a magpie came over and made a loud noise and spooked him in here, here and we just crept up and they came back out okay. and he smoked him and uh, I think the I think the first shot was a good shot but uh he shot him while he was running away too just to make sure he'd go down and he rolled him <laughs> we tracked that deer and he actually got up but uh he's down now we uh we put him out of his misery Good shot, dude. Thanks, man. He's down. Good spot. Good spot. Oh, shoot. We all walked right past him. Dude, what a buck. Unload <clears throat> real quick. Oh, boy. <clears throat> Solid buck. Cool He's wide too, man. Look at that. Yeah. That's a stud deer. The old, old sucker. Heck yeah, man. Congrats. Thanks, buddy.
Well, guys, sucky thing about YouTube, as y'all, as y'all, as y'all probably have heard, uh, I can't show this kind of stuff anymore. I don't know what I can and can't show, but I'm not going to show it at least until we figure out what YouTube's doing. But we are taking care of this deer right now, and then uh, pack them out of here, load them up, and uh, take them to the processor. So we are tagged. Well, I don't know if y'all have seen another video or not yet, but. <laughs> Stuff died this week, so uh, stay tuned. Hope you guys enjoyed it. It was an awesome hunt. We still got cooking to do. <clears throat> Utah buck. All right, guys, we made it back to the house, and we are doing heart tacos for lunch. So y'all seen me cook heart before, but come in here. You want to get all that white fat off that you can. That stuff doesn't taste very good at all. So I come in here, and I trim all the white. Okay, now, so we got the white stuff off. You wanna try to get all of it, but. Kind of skin the heart a little bit and then we're gonna cut it into strips like this. And if there's any kind of like film on the inside, you wanna cut that out. That looks good. That looks good. Cut these into little taco size strips. All the way around. Any of that outside stuff that's chewy, you don't want it. Cut all these up. And then we're gonna roll them in some flour. A little bit of critter glitter. And then you can add whatever you want onto the taco. We're just gonna cook them in a little bit of grease. And uh, this is one of my favorite ways to eat heart right here. Just fried. It is so delicious. Got it all cut up. We're gonna take some critter glitter. This is my seasoning. If you're new to the channel, you can get it at moltman.net. Go check it out. So we're gonna roll these around in some critter glitter. Just like that. Bag, like a Ziploc bag, it's just a lot easier. We're gonna take all of these and just roll them in flour and that's all you do. Then we're going straight into the grease. We're letting that grease heat up. And then uh, it doesn't take long to cook hard either. You don't wanna overcook hard. Um, it gets super tough and dried out. So you just wanna literally fry them for two minutes, pull them out, let them rest a little bit, and then you make your tacos. All right, I'm building one for the for the killer. Got some bean dip, a little spread like that. Got some black beans, a little black bean action. Got some heart. Throw a couple pieces of heart in there. Lettuce. Cheese, feta cheese, and a little bit of cilantro. Last but not least, a little salsa. Now let's go see what he says. Taste test. I'm sorry. Then we go on that cutter cross road going back to the highway. One out of ten. One Deer out of heart. ten? You gotta give it a one out of ten. One out of ten. Deer heart taco, here we go. Edible. Let's see. <laughs> oh great. No, 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 let me think here. Out of all the tacos I've ever had, yep. on a scale of one to 10, I would say these would be like in that 
nine neighborhood. Dang. I'll These are it. fantastic. Sweet. Awesome. All right, I'm going to make one. I'll give you all a taste. Oh, that is amazing. That's one out of ten. Made me a taco. Let's see what it tastes like. Love heart. Give that like a for heart. Give that like a nine too. That was delicious. But right. hope you guys enjoy this video. Uh, Y'all go check out Utah Air Guns, Air Force Air Guns. The way that this world's going right now, I promise you. An air gun is what you're gonna want in your house, and uh, I know I love them. So stay tuned. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. And remember, eat good.